Hi guys, this is David here. Okay, so last video we were having problem displaying this part because it's displaying all the submenu for each of them on like all the submenu of the inspiration, fine work, and the other stuff too. It's still displaying it even though we want that. For inspiration, it's just gonna display whatever the inspiration is. Like the <clears throat> if we go to our data, we wanna display the sub menu where the main main nav of that sub menu is based on whatever the category inspiration or fine work right so right now <clears throat> on our on our last video we're having problem because it's just we're having problem filtering it so i've been practicing this and this is what i find out so now it's wor it's it's working now it's giving us the filter so what i did is mm, let me see so if we go to our menu here so this is from the this is the main nav right so let me see main nav the repeating group here it's showing all the nav so we're getting that here right all the na the, the the main nav but when we hover we want that the sub menu gonna display so what i did is i Put this on the repeating group because we cannot put the group focus here outside since it's a repeating group you can only link the 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 group focus on on a group right but here we're displaying like just text so what i did is here on the sub menu this text right here it's inside the group so if we look at it here this is the the group and this is the text right so if i let me show you guys this one so i'm gonna make this text max of 150 and the group max of minimum of 200. so now we can see because I put this border here. This is our text and this is our group. So the group focus here, the submenu, I'm triggering it through this group here, not the text, okay? So if I go here, I'm triggering it so it will do like what we did on the like two videos before this. We're just displaying when we hover to that on that group, when we hover on this group, it's going to display this submenu, this group, group focus. Okay, so what I did is I put like a general do when, do when condition is true. That's what, this is the command I'm using for this. So what I did is do when this group is hover and it's going to be every time and it's going to display the data to the group focus and the data's going to display is from this the data from this group so <clears throat> if you look at it it's displaying from that group menu. Okay. And now once it's... So basically, this the data here is passing it to this group, right? So this main data is passing it to this group. And we're using that as a reference to display the submenu. So when we display the submenu here... <clears throat> So 
So when we display the submenu on that repeating group, so this is the submenu. We're sa we're saying it's the main menu, main nav, and the source data source is the parent, which is from this group, passing it, passing the data here and here. So now, once it passes the data here, we know that the main nav is going to be whatever the main nav on this text, right, on this group. So once it passes, once it passes the the. I hope I'm making sense here. So once it passes the data here, now we have a reference when we filter this repeating group. So now here, I'm displaying the information here as a submenu, and it's displaying all the submenu, but we're filtering it so that. The parent submenu, the parent ma parent main nav display is equal to whatever the main of the submenu. Okay, so what what we're doing here is here whatever the main here is equal to the main of this repeating group, right? So that's how I'm filtering this. I hope that's ma I'm making sense. So I think, so now it's working now, right? See, it's give me that space because I, I, I created like, a, I made this like, per, uh, what, do you, what do you call this? Put a minimum here. So I'm just gonna, take this thing off. So basically it's just giving us whatever the space we need for that text. So now it's gonna take off that information. This gray boxes here, see like this part right here, we don't have anything here. And also here, last video, we're having problem displaying this as a dynamic. So what I found out is, <clears throat> You have to remove the formatting and you have to make the text center here and center, right? So it's gonna be, the, the text is gonna be in the middle of that box, vertically and horizontally, okay? That's why it's displayed here. So now if we put like on custom B, right here I use a cog, so if we go to our data, which is the submenu, and I can put like an icon here, like home. So it should display a home icon here. Okay. So now just to fix this, you can just make make this fit the content, right? So now it's just gonna. And we want that group color to be white, actually. Because we put like a, when we hover here, I'm gonna put like a condition here when we hover on this thing, it's gonna change on this group. When we hover on this group, this group is hover. We're gonna change the background. Format to flat and background color. I'm gonna make it light gray. You can choose whatever color you want, right? So here, so when we hover, it's gonna give us you can change the color. I think this is really dark. I mean, you can always change the color to maybe a lighter one. Maybe like 30% of that gray. 
you can play with the color right but here now it's working i think the problem here is when we hover here it's giving us this line because we have a border on this box right here that's group so so now here on the group focus sub uh what i felt what i did is to take off the border when <clears throat> let, let, let me do this again when all the sub menu from this group each item right of that sub menus main so the 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 basically the, the sub menu have a main so if the main doesn't contain any of the parent main it's going to take off the the border so here since this sub menu have a main of inspiration the the borders on but when you go here it's off okay so let, let me do that again i'm gonna copy this and clear it right i'm gonna show you so here there's a border but when you go here you can see the border is still there so to turn that border off is i go let me see if i can do this again get option of the sub menu all option and what i'm said is if the sub menus each sub menus main does not contain parent sub menu then the the display is going to be the border is going to be none okay let's do that again So now, since there's a main menu here on the sub menu, it's going on. So basically, there's nothing here. That's why it's not displaying the border. Okay, guys. I think that's it. I, I know it's making this menu with the dynamic. It's, it's more complicated than I thought, right? Because basically, we're nest, nest, nesting. A repeating group here which is the main menu with the sub menu on the reusable element here okay guys so if you guys have any question let me know uh, it took me two videos and a lot of research just to do this uh, I think that's it please subscribe though uh, so we can build this community right M more people and can learn like what we're doing here i know sometimes it takes me a lot of time to just because i'm i'm just new to bubble so it takes me a lot of time to just play with it and then practice and then i create this video to demo it to you guys okay